Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jenny, and today we're going to have another storytelling. And the story for today is the wish tree. So let's begin. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there's no such thing. His sister said, there's no such thing. But Charles said, what do you think, Bogan? So if you're wondering what a bogan is, a bogan is that kind of sled thing that they pull around. And mostly you can find a bogan in winter and not on summer. And especially on peop like areas where there's snow. So let's move on. And bogan thought, surely there was such a thing. But I don't really get how a bogan can think, you know. But we have to move on though. So the next morning, Charles and bogan set forth. His brother said, bring a map. His sister said, don't forget a compass. But Charles and Bogan were already well on their way to the woods. Do you know I could see the footprints of the brothers and the Bogan and the Charles. So we're going to move on. I really like how this story is getting. It's getting very, very interesting. We'll move on though. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Wish! Sang Bogan. They had a whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find a wish tree. But I don't really know where a wish tree could be located, you know. We'll move down. I mean, we'll move on. Up, up to the top of a hill they climbed, and down, down to a frosty meadow they slid. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. And Charles and Bogan did not see the wish tree. But they did see... A clue for the wish tree, maybe? A squirrel! Oh, it's nothing same, like nothing close to my answer. Who was puzzled over how to get some hazelnuts to his home. First of all, you should be collecting hazelnuts near your home and not away from your home. But okay, we'll move on. Hold on tight, said Charles. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Wish, sang Bogan. Sole squirrel, slow, slow through the snow they went, and hush, hush, past the bear, then they crept, because you never want to wake up an angry bear, like a sleeping bear. Where Bogan went, like where Charles went, Bogan followed, and where Bogan went, Charles followed, but they did not see the wish tree anywhere, but they did see, maybe a clue to get the wish tree, maybe? A beaver who was busy gathering rich wood to bring to his lodge. Again, nothing close to my answer. Let's go. La di da di da di da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Bogan. Bye bye, beaver. See that little beaver? And see the beaver's family building some houses? We'll move on. Slide, glide across the ice they slipped. Past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. But the wish tree was nowhere to be found. But they did find maybe another animal. Fox! That is pretty close. Who was late getting berries for her borrow. Let's move on. Lo rode them up. la di la di da di da sang Charles. Wish, sang Bogan. Keep warm, fox, and look at those little cute foxlets. I really like how this story is going, you know? Let's move on. Now they had less than half a day ahead of them. Less than half a day to find a wish tree. We need to move a little faster, Bogan, said Charles. And look at this. He's helping a deer, an owl. Some, I don't know what kind of animals are those, some mice. Wow, this is a very nice person. Let's move on. Fox, I mean, Charles and Bogans were moving very slowly now. And their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Bogan, said Charles, said, I'm tired. I can no longer search. Shh, whispered Bogan. And look at all these animals they healed. They're like um, taking him to the wish tree, I guess. 
When Charles woke up, it was snowing. It was snowing on Squirrel, and it was snowing on Beaver. It was snowing on the fox, and it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles thought he could not see this through the falling snow, but then he said, Oh, look! Is it the wish tree? See, Bargain, said Charles. Just as we thought, it is the wish tree now. And Bargain said, Wish! Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around a branch of the wish tree. Yes, they finally found the wish tree. See, it's really cute. The white tree and the wish is like hanging, hanging on the, like uh, one of the leaves of it. And it's so beautiful. The snow is falling more gently now. The animals have prepared a night feast with hazelnut scourge. A pot of bridge tea and biscuits made of berries. Oh my god, it looks so cute. I thought it was his wish when I first saw this picture. Like the book. And now I knew it. It's a feast table that um, the animals prepare, not him as a fish. We'll move on. Charles and Bogan celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. Uh, it took a really long time to reach the witch tree. It will take exactly that much time to reach back home, you think? But somehow, this fairy tale made it like a second to go home. The moon was glowing brightly. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Wish, sang Bogan, all the way home. So that's the end of this story. And I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And please click the smashing, smashing like button. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.